Your needle's dipping past empty, but you're gambling you'll have enough gas in the tank to make it just a little further. Well, when you're on that long walk to the nearest gas station, you'll be glad someone had the bright idea of manufacturing these handy plastic gas containers. Plastic gas containers are made from these granules, composed of a concentrated colorant and a UV-resistant additive. They're mixed with white granules, which is the primary material, called high-density polyethylene, and recycled plastic, which has been ground up in a granulator. It's all dumped into this milling machine. These granules are all mixed together and melted. The melted plastic will be blown in and will take shape within this mold made of very high quality, dense aluminum, called aviation type. Blow molding continues and produces a soft plastic tube. This is cut and placed in the mold. Then this nozzle pumps the plastic into the mold shell. The container is unmolded and moves along on a conveyor. There's another way to mold plastic, by rotation. This previously colored powder has a 35 mesh size, which is just a little larger than flour. Low-density linear polyethylene is poured into the bottom of the mold. The mold has a cover, which will be well closed, then placed on a steel support. This support is articulated by an arm on two rotation axes simultaneously. This action allows the plastic powder to distribute itself thoroughly throughout the mold. The mold is placed in an oven which generates a temperature of 310 degrees centigrade. About 15 minutes is needed for the polyethylene powder to melt and another 15 minutes to allow the piece to adequately cool before unmolding it. The mold cover is lifted off and the plastic piece is unmolded. Gloves must be worn since the piece and the mold are still very hot. Here they fabricate a mechanism cover for a stationary bicycle. It's held in place by a cutting pattern and openings are cut with a pneumatic tool. Holes are made with a drill. The casing is now completed. Now we get back to the previous blow molding process. This type of molding produces residues which have to be eliminated. These surplus pieces are cut with this small saw. The now hardened scraps are sent to the granulator to be reduced into granules, which will be newly added into the mixer to make other plastic containers. This small pneumatic drill pierces the container's vent hole. The container circulates from one step to another on the conveyor. The next steps will be accomplished by robotic arms. And then the final elements are attached, such as the pouring spout. Then a sealing stopper equipped with a rubber washer prevents leaks. And finally, the cap of the neck is automatically screwed into place. Depending on the thickness of the mold, the blowing procedure allows the production of between 30 and 120 containers an hour. The rotation process takes between 45 and 60 minutes to make a unit. Finished containers are now ready for packaging and delivery.